they have all of these like towels. That is so cute. This place is really interesting. Kind of looks like a little briefcase. What is this? I don't know which to get. This one's an almond vanilla and this one's a coconut hibiscus. Wow, look at this whole section. Look at this picnic basket. That is actually so clever. I've never seen anything like that. These are so cute. I kind of want to get them, but <laughs> there's even diet. This one's missing the lid though. How does that even happen? I don't even know. What's this one? Mango lime. There's another one. Orange soda. What's this one? These candles. Wait, I think I saw another one over here. Lemon lime. That is so cute. Let me tell you, there is such a difference using this app, really kind of compared to any other app because gas in some places are a necessity, um, especially where I live to just get around. And there's, <clears throat> there's something about knowing I'm going to get money back. I don't know, it's my favorite app that I've ever had. It totally changes the game too because I've been getting gas this whole time and there's what, you know, like you stop and you get gas, there's nothing you can do about the prices. Like, what are you gonna do, go in and negotiate? Like, the, so you just, you know, you get gas where you get gas, but now knowing I'm actually going to get money back into my pocket, money that, oh my gosh, I could have just been getting so much money. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I'm really glad that I know about Upside now. So that's really good. I hope you guys have been enjoying the app since the last time I talked about it. I'm so thankful that they want to sponsor me again because this is really just, if I can bring y'all anything, it's an app like this where it could really work for you. But before I get into the rest of the video, I want to tell you guys that today's video is sponsored by Upside. I'm very excited about this because this has quickly become my favorite app that I've ever downloaded. If you don't know about Upside, I'm about to put you on the app the app. So first of all, it's a free app. It's called Upside and it gets you cash back on gas, dining, and even groceries. There's over 85,000 gas stations available. Even when I travel and I have my rental car, I've been using this app to get cash back. And the best thing about Upside is that it's real cash back. It's not confusing like rewards and points and credits. It's real cash back that gets deposited into your bank account. I definitely use it the most for gas and that is why this app has simply blown me away because it's been around a while and I'm just now getting on this bandwagon, but I'm so glad I'm finally here because at the end of the day, especially where I live, I, I have to get gas. Um, and there's nothing you can really do about gas prices. But when you have upside, you're getting cash back when you go to those participating gas stations. So whereas before, when I didn't have upside, I was doing my life as usual, going and getting gas and moving on. Um, but now when I use this app, I'm actually getting money or making money or getting money back. However, you really want to look at it, because at the end of the day, when you use the app and you claim your rewards, that money goes into your upside app and then you can send it to yourself to the method of your choice if you're sending it to your bank. Just within gas alone, there are so many gas stations that are part of this app. Phillips 66, Shell, Exxon Mobil, Circle K, Valero, 7-Eleven, Loves, BP, Casey, Seneco, so many more. With restaurants too, you've got places like Chipotle, Taco Bell, Papa John's, Arby's, Checkers, KFC, Popeye's, Wendy's. I mean, the list 
list just goes on. If there is an app that you need to have, Upside is the one. And there are also top Upside earners that are making as much as $300 a month. I especially love using Upside every time I go to the gas station. Ever since I've had this app, I only use this app with gas stations because now, no, 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 I'm gonna get some money back. So what I do is I find the closest gas station that's participating in the Upside app. I go to it, I fill up as usual, I swipe my car. You wanna hit claim once you get to that participating location, whether you're going to the gas station or you're going to like KFC or Wendy's, you're gonna hit claim, you're gonna do your thing, you're gonna get your food, you're gonna get your gas, and then you're just gonna follow the steps in the app and then boom, you get paid. To find out how much you can earn through the Upside app, check the description box for the link to download the app, which again is for free, and use my code CRAFTYGIRL to get 25 cents off per gallon on your first tank of gas. Or you can also scan this QR code to claim this offer. Thank you so much to Upside for sponsoring me today and back to the video. All right, so obviously you guys saw me go to TJ Maxx, um, but I also popped into Old Navy. I've been kind of like just seeing like ads for Old Navy and they've been putting out some really cute stuff. So I wanna just kind of like go in there and see what they got. So I'm gonna start with them first. So here's my Old Navy bag. I love when they give a brown paper bag. Um, the first thing that I got was just, you know, a good old fashioned cable knit American flag sweatshirt. I was so excited when they had this in an extra large, um, just because I wanted this size. Um, just, I like the way that it fits kind of like oversized on me. So I really liked it. The price was, was, I think it was like $44, um, but I just, I thought it was worth it. I really liked the stars. I liked that it was white. I just got like a flag one from Timu, but it's more like a cream color instead of a brighter white. So I wanted to just have like a good like, white one, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, this one was $44.99. Then I got a good staple um, linen pant. I don't actually have this in my closet at all and I've been trying to build a capsule wardrobe. So if you don't know what that is, I would either just like YouTube it, TikTok it, um, but it's really just creating basics and getting staples and then you can actually make so many outfits out of it. Um, so anyways, these just look like such good linen pants. Like just show you guys the material up close. And this one was $39.99. So has an elastic band, has pockets in the back. Doesn't look like it would really be see-through. So I was really happy to find a pair of linen pants. And then I actually went in for this and I couldn't find it. Um, they have this in multiple colors because I saw it online. But then as I was checking out and I was standing there, I look over and it was like, like you know when somebody just like leaves something in the wrong section? It was right there on a rack. And it is this linen like wrap skort, I guess. Let me just kind of tie it so you guys can see it really well. And I was so excited when it was black too because black was one of the colors I really wanted. This was $29.99 and they had a medium. It has the elastic band in the back. And then you can see here the flap the skirt flap part that goes over the shorts. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's like shorts in the front, then it has the flap that goes over it, like a wraparound. So just a nice, good staple. And I don't actually have anything like this in my wardrobe. So I feel like that was really much needed and that's it. That's all that I got from Old Navy. Um, so there's that. Now let me show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. I've been really wanting to go into TJ Maxx, especially since I've been watching a lot of hauls from TJ Maxx. So it's just been getting me kind of excited to like go in there. I will say this, everyone else seems to have a really great TJ Maxx, except for me. Now, I did find great pieces, but as far as clothing goes, I don't really find what other people are finding. So I don't know. Um, but let me just show you guys what I did find. Uh, okay, so I'll tell you straight away that I spent $158.30 before tax. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you 
is a mug. But listen, I saw it, I had to, and then once you see it, you'll know. Yeah. A little strawberry mug with a lid. Look. Why? This was $7.99. I don't know. I feel like Home Goods has better prices when it comes to mugs, but this one was just super darling. There was just no way I was gonna pass up on it. Um, the surprise is that I only got one mug. That's the surprise. Um, then I ventured down into the candle section and this one just smelled so good. And I love the color of it too. It's so chic. It'll fit really well um, with my decor. It was $12.99. This is lemon tree. I don't know how to describe it. It is just the most unique scent of lemon. There's something else going on in there. Anyways, it, I don't think it says like what all the scents are that are built into this, but it's good. So, and I think that's it. That's all the candle stuff that I got. Loki also got a toy. He got a pink pig. Where's your toy? Go get your toy. Where, where is it? Go get your toy. Go get it. Come here. <laughs> Let me show you. He's so proud of it. I wish you guys could see him. Come here. Oh, he's taking it. Let me record him on my phone. Come here. <laughs> Let me show him your toy. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to insert this clip I'm taking here right now of him. But yeah, he is so proud of this little pink pig. It's hilarious. Here's what I did get as far as clothing goes. I'm very excited about this little set. You get two of them. It's by this dance skin. It's like a dance company, right? Um, that makes this stuff. I'm pretty sure. I think like I would get stuff like this when Micah was in ballet when she was little, but it comes with little sh like boxer short briefs with the matching tank top. It is nice and thick, very soft. I don't know what material this is, but it is very soft. So I got the gray and it also comes with black. So the same little shorts and the tank top. I just thought this was a little, a great set to just have for hanging around the house. So I got that. And then I, I did, I went to town on some hats. I mean, I feel kind of bizarre not wearing one today, but I love this brand 47. So the fact that I found it at TJ Maxx is kind of shocking to me because this brand is pretty expensive when it comes to their hats. They can range from like, I want to say 20 to $40, maybe even sometimes more. Um, so I really love this brand. Like the way they do their hats is so cute. $14.99 for this Texas Rangers hat. I love the bright blue and they have their little 47 stitched on the side. So I got that. Then I found this Adidas one, bright pink. What I love about it is a monochromatic because even the Adidas logo is in the same exact color. So I thought that made it super special. And this says um, $20, but the TJ Maxx price was $9.99. So that's what I paid for it. And then I found another 47 hat. I believe this is also, yeah, Texas Rangers as well. So, but it has like the Texas flag, which is really cool in this bright red color. And this was also $14.99. So, and what's interesting is that I was, I was wanting to put a bright red hat and a bright blue hat into my hat collection because I've been wanting to reach for those colors and I didn't really like have them. So now, now I do. Now this item I need y'all's help with because for the life of me, I'm not understanding. I'm not. So I'm gonna need y'all to flood the comments and talk to me about this. I got yet another suction sponge holder. And I got this one because I thought that these themselves looked a little bit different than the last one that I got, which I think I got from Home Goods, but it will not stick to my sink. And I've even done the hack where you put the oil. Um, I searched TikTok on like how to like keep these from slipping. And people said that you can either put Vaseline or like cooking oil, canola oil or whatever, put a little bit on there and it suctions and stays. That isn't working for me. I don't know. So if you know the hack, should, should my sink be completely dry when I do this? Or should it have a little bit of water when I do this? I, I don't understand why it's not staying. 
so please help me out i saw so the point is i got another one thinking that maybe these would just be better than the other ones so we'll see all right then the main reason for me wanting to go to tj maxx was because of all the beauty stuff and i lost i lost it a little bit this is where that 150 dollars really kind of comes in um, I got the Tree Hut Sugar Scrub. This is the Mocha and Coffee Bean. Love smelling like coffee. Also, it has caffeine, so this is like supposed to help with your skin and like um, cellulite as well. I got this for $5.99. So there's that. Then I, if you saw in the clip, I was trying to decide which goat milk lotion to go with and then i actually decided not on either of those two options because i found this one and this is a coconut and shea butter yeah so vanilla and coconut body lotion i love smelling like this stuff and it was 5.99 for this big bottle then i got this which was clearance um for four dollars and fifty cents this is a Yu yuzu vita c mist and I believe it's Korean because there's Korean here on the side. And this is a soothing and brightening. It's a two-in-one two in serum in, and a mist. I don't know, whatever. However, they're trying to market that. So it looked great. I was like, all right, yeah. Like, it just seemed like something that I would love for summertime when I'm not wearing makeup, you know, for those days. And I can just kind of, like, spray it on. It feels really soothing. Um, then I got this essential oil bathroom spray kind of like a poopery, if you will. And this is a fresh lemon. They have a bunch of these. I don't know why it doesn't have a little lid. I will say that. It probably should have been discounted a little bit more in clearance for this fact. I could have asked, I guess, but it was $4.99. I kind of got it for like my guest bathrooms just to like spray and make it smell nice. Then I got some nail polishes. I got OPI and both of them were $4.99. So here are the colors. Super fun and pretty. This color is called Rust and Relaxation and the pink is called Shorts Story. Shorts. Sh not short story, shorts story. I don't know why the S on that, but all right. This one I'm very, very excited about. This is Olivia Care, crafted in California. It is a coconut and vitamin E body oil. I mean, coconut alone sold me and the packaging is really pretty. So I'm definitely gonna wanna kind of drench my skin in this for the summertime. I would probably prefer more of an oil base during summertime and more of like a lotion based for wintertime, but I don't know. That's just like what I'm thinking. All right, then I picked up this massive blush compact. I don't know, I saw this beauty concepts they put out this whole like grapefruit looking stuff but this was the only item that wasn't picked open and damaged i just thought maybe i will like the blush on it so it is super pretty i'm gonna go ahead and open it did i say that it was 3.99 i think i did um but look at this like isn't that pretty so yeah, we'll give that a go. She looks good. So I got that. And then let me tell you, you need some patience. You need some patience and time to go through these shelves at TJ Maxx because they jam pack stuff and then stuff has been tested and used and touched. Make sure if you can, I hate to say it, but like if it looks opened, reopen it because I was looking at like a lip gloss in a compact and when i opened it you could tell somebody like swiped their finger in it so anyways then i got this eco tools brush um it says it's for a smooth finish um made with recycled aluminum it's a flawless finish brush it's best with powder makeup and it was 2.99 so i thought of, of this as like just my powder that i'm kind of like setting so i got that then i got this product right here it's infused with vitamin c hyaluronic acid aloe vera shea butter and vitamin e 
and it's for expression lines, rough skin, and dullness. It is a dark circle eye cream. It has a collagen and peptide corrector. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted something to target a little bit of the fine lines, a little bit of my dark circles. Here's the product itself. Um, 1.5 fluid ounces. It'll be so easy to travel with this. You know, it doesn't really have much of a scent, which I like. I like when they it doesn't have fragrance because then that means that there's alcohol in it. And, or usually that's what it means. And alcohol can dry out your skin. So there's that. Then I got this one. I was very much into all the eye stuff, eye creams. This is a vitamin C and collagen brightening and energizing eye cream. Um, yeah, it brightens skin and soft and fine lines. It has caffeine to depust and minimize dark circles, cruelty free, cruelty free and paraben free. Um, this was $5.99 for this little guy right here. So just open it, sealed. Let me just kind of, so that's what it looks like, but yeah, you know, I'm just really into like the skin stuff right now. Um, and then I got this. I, I kind of rolled the dice on this, if I'm being honest. This was $3.99. It's by Revolution Makeup, which is crazy because it's giving Kylie Cosmetics. Um, but I actually don't have a clue on what color this lipstick is supposed to be. And it was sealed, so I didn't want to open it in case I didn't like it and somebody else was going to like it. So I did. I rolled the dice. Um, I was like, is it peach? Is it the color on her lips? Because up here it says lover and it's got this pink color. I was very confused by this packaging, if I'm being honest. So I'm about to find out what color it is. Um, okay, so it is the peach color. I'm very excited. I'm very excited about that. Um, and it comes with the lip liner and the lip gloss to create that look. Ooh, that is a good color. I love that color. It's like a brownie peach. I'm gonna swatch the liner. That's the thin one right here. Wow, that is like literally a direct match. So, so pretty. I'm very excited about that. That turned out, that turned out well. Um, then, I just love Poison Ivy. I love Batman. And I saw this eyeshadow palette. This is by Makeup Revolution, and it was $4.99. There are some colors in here I'm, I'm most likely never gonna use, like the green, but maybe. Maybe a little bit of green I think would be fun to play around with in the summertime, so I might do that. But there were some other colors, like look how pretty that packaging is. Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy just can never be beat for me. Never. Um, and then here is the color. Yeah, I love oranges and peaches in this rust color. I think it does really well with hazel eyes. So I thought mm, I can't lose out, you know, on this cute little palette for $4.99. Anyways, that's it for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to Upside for sponsoring today's video. Check out the description box below for the link to download the Upside app, which is totally free, and access my code Crafty Girl to get 25 cents off every gallon on your first full tank of gas. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.